Let me give you another character in the scripture that will inspire you. That will inspire us. Another man of hope. Another man of hope. That man is found in John Gospel chapter 5 verses 1 to 9. He suffered from infirmity for 38 good years. Not 38 days. Not 38 months. Not 38 weeks. 38 years. He was unable to enter the pool when the water was stirred, as it was believed that the water, the angel comes in the night to stir the water, and whoever goes in there first receives healing. One day, hear me, for 38 good years, this man has been suffering from infirmity. This man has been by the pool. Hoping that one day, one day, God will do something in his life. And that day came. Hear me? That day came. I tell you, your own day will come in the mighty name of Jesus. That day came. One day, Jesus came to the pool. I may say it was because of that man that Jesus went to the pool. One day Jesus went to the pool and saw the man. And Jesus turned and asked the man, Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be healed? He replied, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred. Was that the answer? Was that the answer? Jesus asked the man that has suffered from infirmity for 38 good years, Do you want to be healed? And the man was saying, I have no one. I have nobody. That is the picture of many of you listening to me. Father, I have nobody. Father, I would have gone to school. I have nobody. Father, I would have gotten this. I would have left something. I have nobody. Father, I would have gone to the hospital. I have gone to the hospital, but there is nobody to give me or to give me money. It may be your picture. It may be your picture. I may be preaching your picture. The picture of the man that suffered from infirmity for 38 good years. Do you want to be healed? Jesus asked him, do you want to be healed? The man said he had nobody. Are you saying this something? You have nobody, really? Don't you know that one way God is majority? Don't you know that you coming here, you are more than those who have 10 children? You having God, don't you know that you are more than those who have 12 or 13 children? One way God is a majority. And Jesus said to him, walk. Get up. You have been down. You have been down. Infirmity has brought you down. I want to take you up. I want to raise you. I want to lift you. You are lifted up. Get up tonight before the Eucharistic Jesus. Can you be on your feet? Get up. He called the man that suffered from infirmity for 38 good years. Get up. Take 
up your mat and walk. Get up. Take up your mat. He gave you an assignment. Get up. Take up your mat. Take your mat and walk. He didn't say somebody will come and carry the mat for him. He is to carry the mat. There is something you must do tonight. There is something you must do tonight. You remember when God went to the tomb of Lazarus? He told them, roll the stone. Roll the stone. Unbind him. There is something you must do. You must not just wait and not do something. You must not just be complaining. You must do something. Father, I am this. Father, I have nobody. Father, you must do something. You must not just be complaining. You must do something. He told the man that said, I have no one. And he said, get up. He didn't take the mat from him. He didn't carry the mat for him. He told the man, get up, take the mat by yourself. Dear parishioner, there is something, there is something you must do. There is something you must do for you to come out of that challenge, for you to come out of that obstacle, for you to come out of that trials or tri tribulation. There is something, there is a role you need to play. Stop complaining. Do something. Welcome to Encounter TV. Featuring Reverend Father Clement Agama of the Kalik Diocese of Ogoja, Cross River State, Nigeria. Encounter God through the breaking of the word. Of the word.